Hi, Johan Els here. Don from Robert Spirit Tech published a video a couple of hours ago showing Android running on a Raspberry Pi 5. That got me thinking, would Lurix actually run in this scenario? So I don't have any Raspberry Pi 5s, but I've got some 4s, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, the main reason is I need to replace this thing that I've had for many years, and yeah, I think we can do it on a Raspberry Pi. Let me show you what I've got and hopefully somebody can help. So what I've got is a Raspberry Pi 4 connected to a 7 inch LCD with HDMI and USB for touch input. I loaded the Android distribution as described by Don on his video and then I'll side loaded Lurex the APK just to get it going. I'm now feeding through a very cheap AliExpress USB HDMI capture the last recording I've got from one of the games and I'm able to HTML overlay the scoreboard and other information. This I'm sending out to my Restreamer server just for testing. As you can see, it seems to be working. However, 50 frames a second, I'm getting the red arrow at the bottom. Let me show you close up. As you can see, we're definitely getting some frame drops. The bottom red block shows that there's not happy to get 50 frames a second. I'll probably test it at the lower frame rate, but for ice hockey, I like the higher frame rate. You need to see the puck moving. Now, this is not the biggest problem. The signal we're getting out towards Restreamer is where the big problem is. Yes, pretty obvious. The HTML overlay looks right, but for some reason, the encoder is changing the aspect ratio of the video input over the HDMI into a portrait mode. I have no idea why. I've tried a couple of settings, but uh, I'll keep on battling. Look, bottom line, really hope this is going to in inspire somebody to have a look at this as well. Maybe figure out what am I doing wrong and we can start using this as a solution to stream. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.